An arrest is made months after a car plowed through a crowd of people near North Carolina A&T. 15 people were hurt that day back in March, and now a 20-year-old is facing dozens of charges. WFM News 2's Joseph Leonard got reaction from the family of someone who was hit that night. It was March 29th. Several people, many who were A&T students, were gathered along South Eugene Street for a party. That's when a car drove through that crowd, several, hurting several dozen people. Now on your screen right now, we're showing you a mugshot of Zamaya Remains. She's facing a slew of charges, including 15 felony counts of hit and run and nine counts of assault with a deadly weapon, inflicting serious injury. Police say she drove into that crowd of people that night around 730. And I spoke with someone whose grandson was at the party. He says he's glad police arrested the driver. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they got him because they should have turned themselves in way before now because you didn't even care nothing about him to, to stay there and help. You just rolled off and, and left him to die or whatever, you know what I mean? Casey describes a scary scene that night. He says he drove by earlier and was surprised by how many people were gathered around the parking lot and says when his grandson saw the car plowing through the crowd, he just took off running. He said it was, the people was trying to go over the train tracks and you couldn't get through because it was too many people and too many cars and that's when whoever was just bolted and, and, and started running over people. So. Now, Guilford County judge has set Maine's bond at $100,000, and she's due back in court on August 7th. Reporting live in Greensboro, Joseph Leonard, WFMY News 2.